What up, what up, SNM Hit Squad, and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy Sean. And your girl, Mel. All right. Welcome, SNM Squad. Let's How are go. you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys. Hey, if you're having a rough day out there, let's turn it around, all right? With some good energy plus Most some definitely. good content. We got to spread some love, guys, all right? Spread it we got to spread some love. Yeah. Let's replace the hate with love, all right? So, my lovely wife. Who do we have today? What is All this? Right, What's going today on? Today we'll be reacting to Donald Trump blames Obama for losing the black vote. Whoa, Nelly. All right. This is going to be very interesting. Uh-oh. So I think this is our first time actually watching Donald Trump in an interview. Am I right? Well, our I'm first sure. time reacting to Donald reacting Trump to. in an interview. Okay. So that'll work. So guys, before we get into it, smash that like button, turn on all notifications. Let's go ahead and dive into this video. All Let's right. see what we got. Here we go. I love this. Here we go. I want to get right into it. I got a lot of questions I want to ask you. Some of it's uh, personal, some of it's business, some yeah. of it's politics. But something happened last week. Barack Obama, he's at this event, he's speaking. Right. And he's given this message about your economy, how great the economy was. And then at the end of it, he says, you know, you didn't build that economy. I built this. I kind of want to get your reaction on this uh, okay. talk that he's given. Rob, if you can put that up. <laughs> and the reason some people think, well, I don't know. I remember that economy when he first came in being pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good because it was my economy. <laughs> we had had 75 straight months of job growth that I handed over to him. It wow. wasn't something he did. I had spent... Eight years cleaning up the mess that the Republicans had left me the last time. Whoa, Just in Nelly. case everybody has a hazy memory. <laughs> that, 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 he, didn't, he didn't do nothing except those big tax cuts. So how do you feel about this when you, when you see him saying this last week? I think he's angry. Can we stop it right there? Whoa. Wow. He didn't do nothing except those big tax cuts. So. Now let's think back to Obama's presidency. That was in 2008, right? Right? Yeah. Yep. 2008. He served eight years. Yeah. And then Trump came in in 2016. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, um, but basically, Trump is, 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 well, Obama is saying that he cleaned it up. The mess that the Republicans left him. And what then passed over to Trump. Let us know Trump. in the comment section. What do you think about that? Um... <laughs> so when Obama came in, I don't know how big of a mess he had to clean up, but um, hmm, some things got better, some things got worse. Yeah, you know, but he was his 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 main mission was to go get that guy that was over there. I forgot his name. Um, Bin Laden. So that's what I you do remember. What? I I must say what I, Obama. I did. had Obamacare. Obamacare. And he had Obamacare. Medicare. Yeah. Yes, everybody was, you know, happy about that. We had Obamacare back then. I think that was a little before I met you. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Most definitely had Obamacare. So now let's just hear Trump's reaction because, you know, let's clear this up, Trump. What you, what you got to say about this? Here we go. He pretends not to be, but I think he's an angry guy. He's a nasty guy. Uh... Uh, he's got a little bit of an edge, and you know, he's, he's angry about a lot of things. Uh, you look at what happened with Biden, mm -hmm. and you look at what he did with Biden. He really hurt Biden because uh, I'm not sure he wouldn't have imploded anyway. We had the debate, and he was down quite a bit, and they walked out, and they just took it away from him. I mean, if you think about it, they stole the election from a sitting president. That's, you know, I, I always say coup, but the word coup, I don't think it's accurate enough. They just walked in and took it away from him. Uh, that That is a... Legendary thing. What he didn't want to give up. He's angry now. Uh, they're all angry. The Democrats, if you think she's angry, they're, they're both angry. But uh, no, I watched that last week, and I think he spoke down to black men. I thought it was terrible the way he spoke to him. Uh, but uh, you, you think know. it's effective? You think he still carries the same stick as the, he did? You know, maybe eight years ago or twelve years ago? No, I don't think it is. No, I don't think he does. I think people have gotten smart. And uh, no, I don't believe he does it all. He's, uh, I hadn't seen him. He's changed a lot. Visually, he's changed. I like to say visually as opposed to from the look standpoint, because of course looks don't matter anymore in politics, you know? We <laughs> say looks don't matter. It doesn't make any difference, right? Because we want to be politically correct, but they do matter. But he's, 
He's changed. His look has changed actually quite a bit. I haven't seen him in a long time. And I, by the way, Rob, I think that's even four years uh, ago. I think it's wow. even more than yeah, it is yeah. Well, uh, today. no, but the, the statement he just made was a couple of days ago. And that yeah, it was a couple of days ago. Looks, and, uh, and it's similar to the statement he made back in 2012 when he told business owners, you didn't build that. Remember yeah, when he yeah. said that? I don't know if you remember that whole comment. I think yeah. this is the speech, Rob, if you want to play this. You got a business. That, you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. So this becomes a pattern, mm. a pattern of communism. It, it, you see a pattern of communism oh, no. there? I mean, that's basically the view. You know, we didn't do anything. Right. Government did it. Somebody did it, but anybody but us. Do you think this works with the undecided voter? Do you wow. think the undecided voter that's sitting in our audience, they're entrepreneurs, they're small business owners, they're family, they have kids, they want to win, they got dreams, they want to do something. Do you think a message like that from him lands on the business owner, on the undecided voter, on the person that says, you know what, I think he's right, I'm going to go vote for him. Do you yeah. think it works? I, I think you don't have that many undecided voters, I think, by now. You have very strong Trump voters. I don't think you have strong, you have strong Democrat voters, but I don't think you have strong Kamala voters. What's mm. to vote for? I mean, take a look. She can't do an interview. She hasn't. Has she been in here to do an interview? No, not yet. I don't no. think you'll see her. You know, I have a... She's claiming she's going to go on Rogan. Well, that'll be interesting. So am I. I heard. Uh, but uh, I think I am. I don't know. I think so. But uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see what happens today with Brett Bear. You know, Brett's two people. He can be very nice or he can be uh, himself. He was tough on you. If he's tough on her the way oh, he, was he was tough on you, no. he was very tough on he you. Was always, the... No, he was always nasty to me. And, right. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think he'll be tough on her. I don't think he'll be... Foxes are very disappointing. They during the days, Fox is just terrible, terrible. And uh, but I, I want to show something with this. When, when you look at this whole Barack Obama thing, I think the one thing they don't show. You were talking yesterday. Uh, I think it was the Bloomberg event, which, by the way, I loved. I, I love the way you handled the well, whole terrorist conversation. I, 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 that was a great event. I got event. sort of uh, I got hoodwinked to, to go on that. You know, I was supposed <laughs> to make a speech in front of the Chicago. Economic Club, which is a big deal, you know, which is a very prestigious place, beautiful, everything was beautiful. And all of a sudden, I understand I'm being interviewed by this gentleman, and he's got a reputation for, for being about, oh, I'd love to see him do uh, Kamala. We should, he should do Kamala. That would be beautiful. But he's a tough cookie, and he, he's the chairman of uh, Bloomberg. He's a big mm -hmm. guy. So all of a sudden, I'm being interviewed. And I wasn't happy about it because I found out that he is, you know, his reputation precedes him. And, uh, but I decided to do it. You, you know, you have a choice. Walk out and don't do it and have a scandal. Or go in and do it and hopefully win. Or you go in and do it and you get killed, which is probably the worst. But uh, wow. it was a great, it was a great interview, actually. And he was nasty, but he wasn't overly nasty to me. I mean, other people thought he was. I thought nastier was... David Muir, when he kept interrupting me during the debate and saying false things, like when I said, crime is way up, and he said, no, no, crime is down. I said, you're wrong about that. Crime is up. And then two days later, it came out that crime is That's up. Right. Uh, I mean, to me, mm. that was much nastier than uh, yeah. this okay. gentleman. But, but it, was, it was really a study of business. It was a detailed study of business. You're and talking about with the Bloomberg one? With the Bloomberg. Right. And people loved it. I agree. The tariff one. And the one thing I wanted to show is the following. So you know how... You talked about Jerome Powell, what an easy job. You come once yeah. a month and he said, we're going to increase the rates. Greatest think, job there I is. I think this is the one thing they don't talk about. So Barack Obama got elected November 4th. Okay, quantitative easing started November 26th. Right. And it stayed for eight years until you got elected. Right. So if wow. you look at that low, pretty much 0% interest rate. Right. And then you get elected, right? If you go to January 2016, Rob, for the audience to see that. And then from there, one by one by one, rates are going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. And then Biden comes in, goes back down to zero to Whoa. try to save the economy. And then, you know, the rest is obviously yeah, history. Right, right. But do you think the average person knows, like, the impact of going to zero percent? How, how much does that positively help the oh, impact it's, when Fed lowers the rates to half a point? Yeah, it has a huge impact. The, the power of the Fed is, I think, pretty strong. Some people disagree with it. They think, it, you know, it's overridden mm -hmm. by the interest rate climate. But... I think the power of the Fed is very strong. It's an interesting graph, actually. Yeah, this just shows that the rates didn't help you. You know, when he says it was... It, well, they it, didn't use them to help me. Right. Uh, and Powell, uh, I gave him a hard time because he was raising them. 
And uh, I was never a big fan of his. He was late and he was early. He was too early and too late, you know. But, <laughs> um, but I had the greatest economy in history. We had the greatest economy in the history of our country. Despite that, you know, this is another thing I can say. Despite the fact that they weren't very high, but they were, you know, reasonably high. And uh, despite the rates not being at zero, uh, I had a pretty good, uh, I had a great, we had a great run. This is the USA Gear limited edition for the oh, rest I of the year. Am. If you love America, sport this USA Gear on the side. It says future looks bright. Okay. All right, you heard from me. former president, Mr. Donald Trump. Wow. So <laughs> he basically said that the people who watch his podcast are people like us. Mm -hmm you know who are business owners have families and we just want the best for our kids future and this has been very hard for all of i'm pretty sure all of americans they just showed the graphic yeah. you've seen in 2016 you know when things were just out of control but when trump got in there you've seen it you know the graphic it changed the direction start going up so that tells us something about mr trump when he was in a chair wow you know what i'm saying but obama so said that he cleaned I, I, I up he did this he did that that graph because it seems like he was saying that when obama was there the interest rates were lower and then when trump came you know they went up they went up so maybe maybe we um, well have two different understandings. understandings maybe we do because we so, guys, let us know in the comment section. We might need to go back to that graphic because I definitely want to understand that um, when they both was in office. But that's why I say it's like we are just on a learning journey right now. It's very touchy. It's it's like um, it's like we got to understand this before we speak on it. Most definitely. You know, but Trump is just so cool, man. He just like he, he's got like this cool fan to him. Like he's just he's never under pressure. You know, he know how to answer questions. He he always have a comeback. Yeah. Um He doesn't leave you hanging. For yeah. Information. He does not. Even <laughs> if he isn't politically, you know, correct, then he says some really harsh things he really do he's like he really he's, point out he some knows things. how to run the economy yeah I, I i think he got more experience to run the economy to run the you know united states but hey we will find out less than 11 days most definitely yeah we will find out but um that was a good inter interview to have him on and well, what do you think about what obama said when he said you know I left him that great economy that he's bragging on. Like, he didn't do anything. I left him that. Well, that's just so hard to, like, pinpoint right now. It's like, I, I don't know. Because if he fixed all of this with his eight years and then Trump got into office, did it get better after that? Or did it get worse? In my opinion, I think that it got better. You know, when we were so... But well, I know I was young back then. He was, like, canceling out everything Obama was doing. You know, he wanted it out. He, he didn't want to follow those same policies and guidelines. So he started doing his own thing. Um, and, 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 and I don't know, because back then I wasn't really into politics like we are now. It's like I didn't, we didn't really like, okay, like, well, all right, what's going on in the news? You see the news, you know, but we wasn't really, you know, into it like we are now. So it was just a, you know, really like a learning experience for real because. Guys, they are hitting below the belt. They just they say, say anything. He doesn't, look good. he doesn't look the same. I'm like, like oh, what do that have to do with is. him? You know what I'm saying? Because, yes, everybody get older. You know, I don't look the same when we started YouTube, you know, a couple of years ago. <laughs> we all going to change Goodness. with age. So I don't think that that had anything to do with the conversation about how, how the man looks. He said, but it, <laughs> what looks does matter. And the way he said Kamala is like so funny. Like, he's just like a comedian 
sometimes I see him as being funny. And he probably don't even mean to be. But like, you know, I I just don't know. I'm just undecided right now. I, I just don't know. I can't make my mind up. That's the honest. You, you know, know what? From my heart, I just I'd can't figure have this thing out. I someone who can answer questions. Than I do want someone can. to answer questions, but I don't want no one to be um, a danger to the you know United to States democracy. people and the democracy Most definitely. and the Constitution and everything that we stand for. Yeah, you can't just throw that under the rug. I want to see a peaceful like it's transfer of power. Yes, now, I I don't doubt you know. Kamala not being peaceful if she doesn't win. But I don't want to see another January 6th. That's the thing that got everybody on edge. Like, uh oh, what's going to happen if this person leaves? People are afraid. We don't know what's going to happen. Vote for Trump. I think that reason alone scares people. And we don't want no civil war, (laughs) something going on around here. Like, come on now. Who wants an unsafe border to live in a, a country where people are able to walk over without documentation and destroy the country? That's the biggest thing. It's like the wall was being built. And then once they got into office, the wall stopped. The American... They stopped the wall. We all have a lot to consider. Yeah, we do. You know, so we're not here to make any choices for anyone. We're just interested to know what's going on with each campaign and give you guys, share our thoughts with you guys. Right, because, you know, we just got to figure this out. Most definitely. We don't really know. We don't really. It's just a mess right now. It's like both ways. I heard someone say it is a mess. People would rather pick the devil they know than the one that they don't know. It's like, and so like it's they're admitting that <laughs> there's a devil. There are devils. Well, <laughs> I really look at it as like you know, you gonna go with the rookie or you gonna go with the vet. It's a rookie that you know she's learning as she goes. Seems like. But it's someone that already been in the chair, already experienced this, and already know, got a feel of being the chief I and commander. I truly think that it would be a no-brainer for the American people if the, you know, the Capitol wasn't, st- you know. That right there. If it there, wasn't for the January 6th That incident, is so bad. I think people would, this that would is be an so easy vote. Bad this would be on its behalf. Vote. Yeah, so that that I right there. Why people are scared? That it was would be that was bad for me to sit here and be like, "You're stupid for not for voting blue." You you know, I understand. I have a heart for everyone, and you know who lost their lives on that day. I could not sit here and be heartless like that. I understand. You know that I'm day is going to go down in history. Myself. And my family, and my children. That day is going to go down in history. I most definitely. That was one of the worst days in the United States history. Borders. Because on that day, that was not supposed to happen. It wasn't. That was not supposed to happen. Not like that. That shows so much weakness. It shows in our country. There and that are, that put a dim ways, light. There are ways to end. I don't like unpeaceful protests. Peaceful protests, yes. But when people start to hurt others because of what they feel, because they feel their government has failed them, I don't agree with that. Well, when you have a leader that's putting this negative thought in people's heads, because it seems like they came prepared to do this. Like it was premeditated. Like it was okay. Y'all ready? Y'all know what we got to do, right? So I didn't really get the whole January 6th riot. I did not understand that. 
for people to act like that and attack the White House to go inside, break inside, start screaming out people's names. Where are you? Like they was going to harm people. And that's the well, only thing that I see like, oh, man. I mean, he did offer to um, send in the, the National the Guards. National Guard. I, I get that and, and I understand. Pelosi, she didn't. She declined his offer. It's just a, it's it's, a very touchy it's really subject. it's really touchy. You know what I'm saying? And 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 um, you know, I just pray for those people who lost their life, the families, and I send condolences. But it's no room for that. We should not be in fear that that might happen again. We want peace at heart. We want peace. That's not peace. I think in my heart, I truly believe that Donald Trump will be peaceful. That's just in my heart. I think that if he doesn't win, I think there will be a peaceful, you know. Well, you can't use words like fight. We're going to fight. We're going to fight. You know, certain words that you, I don't think that you should use. You want to fight who? Who are you going to fight? Because the way it go is people go out and vote. They announce the winner. And that's it. It's not supposed to be um, a war after that. No. It's supposed to be respect. They're supposed to you know, shake hands or whatever I mean, they I, do. I do agree um, with a protest. I agree. If you don't Protest is protest. Protest. Do what you have to do. But when it comes to... When it comes to blood being shared, that's not a protest. It scares people. That's hate. It scares people. No matter what you believe or how you believe or why you believe. Just understand things like that scare people. And they will be cautious about voting for a candidate who, you know, was in control of well, what happened. And I do understand that now my reason for um going with donald trump is because i feel like he can fix the economy mm -hmm. i feel like he will close the borders mm -hmm. but i don't think he's perfect and there are some things that he has done that give me pause that is why I have not voted yet because I want to see this whole thing through before I vote. But I think that he, you know, will fix the economy for all of us. I do believe that. Well, what I do not understand, and this is what I do not understand. It's hard for me to like to, to just process this. How can you have 34 charges? 34 and still be able to run for president. I do not understand that. I don't know how it works. I don't know who makes the rules and how this. I just don't understand that. Right? <laughs> how do you <laughs> pull this off and then you walk through jail? You're going to get your mug shot. You're going to walk through. You ain't got to see no bars. You don't have to spend one day. We're going to walk you straight through. How does that work? I can't answer that. I don't know. 30 <laughs> I don't know. That four that. charges. And I still can run for president. Wow. So it's like the game is being made up as we go, it seems like. Because at the end of the day, if that was someone else just speaking, I think we, we would be seeing someone in jail. That's just my honest opinion. How do you do that? Like, I don't care how much money you have, how much power you have. The law should be for everyone. No one should be exempt from the law. I can just break the law. I can break it. No one is going to do anything. And I'm still going to run. And I'm still going to get your vote. And it's a possibility that I might be the next president of the United States for four years. 
that's how I have to digest. I'm just speaking. Um, it's not right. You know, you got people who committed charges less than that. Serving big time. Wow. Doing years. That does give you something to think about, huh? Yeah. But I still want to feel safe. I still want to leave. I still want someone that's going to say, you know what? Um, your kids are going to be safe. Your wife is going to feel safe. Your children, your family is going to feel safe. You don't got to put 10 locks on the door. You can use the one you, you, you you've been using. You live the American dream again. Yes. You'll I get that to. and I understand it. I don't want nobody just coming on over. To build a future and not have to rob Peter to pay Paul. Yeah, like, you come know, on. It's like, you have to, you know. It's like, how, where do we go with this? Because we can clearly see the border is open. Wide open. And we can clearly see in 2016, the border was getting sealed up. It was no way you're going to get up in here. Was, that wall is huge. There was more control. If you can climb that, that wall. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You're not getting in. Yes. There was most definitely more control. And that's the biggest thing for Americans right now. Before we can go move forward, let's feel safe. This thing is a roller coaster, isn't it? Yeah, I mean it's like a it's like a bank where all the robbers just coming in just taking the money. Just taking it. No, man, seal that bank up. Don't let nobody come in and take our money. It's all, it's all money. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to draw a purple, but at the end of the day, you know, it was like, come on, man. Yeah. We need to feel safe. We want safety first. Yeah. And then we can talk about tax cuts and whatever the case may be. We can yeah. talk about that later. Most definitely. But if we're not here to talk about it, what the hell are we going to talk about? <laughs> like, 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 really, what can we really talk about? If everyone is running around in a panic, don't nobody care about no tax cuts if we're not safe? I don't. I don't care about none of that stuff if we're not safe. Point blank. So, um, who are you voting for again? Because we might have a problem. We just might have a problem. Um, I already told you. <laughs> I tried to get you. you. You didn't fall for it. But at the end of the day, guys. I haven't voted yet. I said I would. Yeah, we have not voted yet. See this thing all the way out. But I am geared towards Trump because Kamala, it's like she hasn't changed my mind. Poor Kamala. She has not changed my mind. It's, it's just seemed like she was just thrown into this. Like, hey, you go do it. Do the job. I'm I don't care fair. if you're not ready. You know, I'm trying to be fair with this election because Trump isn't a squeaky clean candidate. But I have to think about my ch our children and... I mean, you got to think about everything around the... Around future. the yeah, everything so, around the table. I'm just trying to, you know... See it completely through. All right. And on the fourth, <sighs> we got to figure I will this thing be out. In the line. Well, all I can say is God bless America. Kind of. When is it? God fourth bless the, the people third? of America. It's the fifth, November the fifth. We will know. Oh my goodness. We will know. We'll so time know. is running down. We'll know on we the will fifth. know. We will know. We will know. And whoever win, I will respect that. I will fall in line. And I will follow the rules. That's what it's about. Follow the rules. The rules are set in place for us to have a good economy. Straight up and down. For us to have a future. For us to raise our families. For us to have peace. For us to feel safe. Yes. I have and, been you know. This thing is 
thing is going to send me to therapy. It's like, I mean, like I, I I've just been through so much. It just seemed like I can't election. sleep at night now because of the election. You know, I have people coming at me like, "How could you? How like, could oh my you God, you guys are doing this? No, 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 no! Don't get it twisted. But how could I just go out here and vote for someone just because they're black? Like, or be you know? That's that's out now. That's out. You ain't gonna use that because you be the same color. I don't. Don't nobody care about that. Yeah. I'm so giving what? Everyone, the you know, a so chance to what? change my mind. So I'm gonna read these comments and I'm tonight. Pretty sure my mind won't be changed. <laughs> but and I hope I get some sleep I'm because it, I'm just giving it a fair chance. I'm restless right now. It's like I I cannot sleep. This is like. <laughs> It's like we on eggshells. Like we just don't know what in the hell is going like on. She doesn't have a clue. And it it, and like and 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 it, and it does. It seems like sometimes she she is confused. She's not. Me I'm it seemed like she was not trained to answer questions. And it just seems like you know, um, is she going to have this country going in the right direction? Because clearly we're not going in the right direction right now. Not at all. It seemed like it's just confusion. You guys let us know what you guys think. Are you guys like Let us know guys because hey going through this like I mean we only human. Are you guys also gonna need therapy after this election? We are only human. Goodness gracious. Like these are our two candidates. These are the two yes. only two options we have. And it's okay to be, so you know, we have undecided. To choose who we think will you know, fix the economy. We have to. Safely. Fairly. Fairly. And, you and, know. And, you know, not only um, talk, but do what you are what you say you're going to do. Do it. You Don't know, talk about it. Be about it. Do you have the ability to stand up? And when a question is asked, you know, you got to convince the people. You know what I'm saying? You, you have to be convincing. Like, <laughs> well, you know what? Um, well, <laughs> when, when my mom was raising us and I, we were doing that. No, oh, listen. Ask the question. <laughs> Answer it straight up. Stop beating around that bush before that bush beat you. You better stop it. Wow. Straight up and down. Guys, that's our time, man. I'm, I'm going to learn. I'm going to soak all of this in. I'm going to, yeah, you know, because we never really, to be honest, man. guys, this is the <laughs> first election that truly woke a lot of people up like us, like people who are not really into politics. Um, we, you know, I was never into politics. I, you we, know, I we look for God. We yeah, look I mean, to God for answers in our lives. Yeah. Like we never really cared too much about. The government, to be honest, and now this because we really always got the messed up end of the stick. The yeah. people that's in the communities that's struggling. Hey, so we kind of <laughs> lost hope, but this election, we really felt like okay, it's time to wake up. And it's time to wake up. We gotta wake up as people. We gotta wake speak up. Speak about how we. We gotta feel. make the right decision. Because it's not about Kamala or Trump. It's not. It isn't about these people. It, it is, is not. not about the country. It's about the people. It's about America. It's about the people. And let's stay strong. Let's not show weakness. Yes. Let's not let these other countries, you know, look at us like this is a joke. Yep. Are they real? Like, what's going on over there? Is that, is that fun land? Well, come on. Let's just go and march on over there. You know, like, come on, let's stand up. Let's stand yeah. up. Let's stand up. Let's stop the border for one, and let's get everything in check. Yes. Let's make people feel comfortable and, you know, let people feel like they got a chance of building a future for their family and their children. Most And definitely. their children, children. That's all we care about. That's what it's about. We're not, we're not fans of... A specific person. Yeah. Don't care about that. A I lot don't. Of people, they. I don't. They are lost in the person and not in the job. Absolutely. And it's weird. I don't care if I vote for the ant on the wall. 
if that ant is going to make it better for us, I'm voting for ant on the wall, man. Most definitely. I don't, damn, the, 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 they, the ant said he was going to make it better for us. Most definitely. Let's go with the ant on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> it's All crazy. Right. That's our time, guys. We are signing off. Please have a blessed day out there. Hey, it's your boy, Sean. And your girl, Mel. You already know, guys. We about here. Peace. Peace.